All right, so today we're gonna talk about when you've tried everything, tried absolutely everything to improve your health, to get some weight loss going, to get your hormones under control, and I'm gonna write down some of my favorite things that I've heard people say that are kind of bananas um, in terms of trying to get results. Uh, this is people eating less than just 1,200 calories a day. That doesn't work for any long-term result, right? We know that. Um, doing things like uh, no carbs forever and ever and ever. Yeah, that's not super helpful for your hormones. Your, your brain also needs carbohydrate. Your, your gut also needs fiber. Yeah, so not having carbs, also not helpful. <laughs> There's also the crazy diets that people do, like the cabbage soup diet or something like that, or only eating, you know, certain foods and, and very restrictive. I'm just going to put restrictive in terms of types of food. Like you can only eat a list of like one of 10 foods. That's it. Yeah. Or eating just one meal a day. That's another one that people are like, well, it worked. It worked for this. And you know, it did this and this and this. And I will tell you, I work with a lot of women. I work with thousands of women and I have heard thousands and thousands of stories and so much clinical experience around this that I can tell you that these are not long-term solutions or answers. You can cut things down. You can eat like really tiny amounts of calorie and all these other things. And think, oh, I'm doing this. This is what my, you know, is going to be helpful for me. This is what got me this result. I lost 10 pounds doing this. Okay, I lost 20 pounds doing this. Okay, is it something that you can keep going with, though, with a lifestyle for the rest of your life? If not, then it's not going to get you a lasting result. So when you've tried everything, most of the time what people mean when they say that is I've tried all these crazy diets. So I am Dr. Beth Westy, women's health and hormone expert. I'm the author of the books, The Female Fat Solution and The Female Menopause Solution. These are on Amazon. I'm also host of the podcast, The Female Health Solution, and you can follow me on social media and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay updated on all the videos I have coming out. But when we talk about trying everything and really like, I'm doing all these things, I've done all these things, you're trying a different version of the same thing. You're trying a different version of maybe this is the magic diet that's gonna really help me lose weight. It's not really different. But when we're looking at your actual physiology, when we're looking at your body, how it responds, when we look at what your hormones are doing specifically, then you're actually doing something that is customized to you. Customized to you. There's somebody I chatted with today and we, were, we had gone over her hormone report, her gut report, all this stuff, and we've got her doing some different protocols for, I'm gonna be honest, it was some funky stuff that we found in her GI map. Ooh, ooh. Uh, but I will tell you this, that after a couple of months of her being on these certain protocols, for, and shifting and changing some of her nutrients, making sure she's getting enough food, because that was one of the things. She was eating so restrictive, eating so little, not had gone through the rounds of doing all these things. And she's like, it almost doesn't matter how much I eat. My belly gets so bloated and I don't feel good. And all that. yeah, then it's not about just eating less because eating less isn't helping you lose weight anymore. You're at a standstill, you stopped and now you're getting exhausted and now your stomach is having problems. So when we started looking at what was actually going on in her body and start working with that and say, okay, let's get this functioning better. Let's get your gut working better. Let's get that feeling better. All of a sudden she starts losing weight now. And she's like, this seems crazy. This seems crazy. She's like, I'm eating more than I've eaten before. And I'm actually losing weight. I said, yes, like that is a correlation. Absolutely. I said, but how do you feel? She's like, oh yeah, I feel way better. And then she tells me that because of her gut issues and how exhausted that she would be, that sometimes like she would get so bloated at the end of the day where she just wouldn't eat. She'd like eat part of her dinner, wouldn't eat. And she kept thinking like, this is going to help me lose weight. This is going to help me lose weight. And it wouldn't. 
And then she's thinking like, what am I doing wrong? It's not that what you're doing is wrong. You can try all of these things, but it, a lot of times from a lot of the hormone reports that I've seen, it doesn't matter what you're doing because if your body's not functioning well, it's not gonna work. It's like saying your car doesn't work. I can't drive my car very well. I pull out of the driveway and my car dies halfway down the street. Okay, well, you're not just gonna say, you know, oh, clean the windshield more. <laughs> okay, <laughs> right? Did you put gas in it? Oh, okay, yeah, there's gas in it. There's something wrong under the hood. And that's what looking at a GI map and looking at your hormone testing does. It looks under the hood and sees how your body is functioning. If your system isn't working correctly, I don't care what you're doing. It's not gonna get you that result. So many women notice that and feel that. So next steps would be to go below this video, click on the link, learn more about how to work with me and we're in a one-on-one -on -one capacity. And that way we can dive into the right testing, the right information, the right things for you so that you can finally get the answers you've been looking for and stop doing all this stuff. <laughs> Cause it doesn't, if you've tried all these things and they don't work more of the same thing, isn't going to get you a different result. It's looking at what your system needs and moving in that direction. So that's what I got for you today. Let me know if you have any questions. You can always leave me a comment. If you're not comfortable commenting, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Send me an email. You know, I hear from women all over the world every single day because there's so many questions on this stuff because what I talk about is so different. We talk about how your body functions, getting you functioning better, feeling better, and then you get lasting results.